Mimo, tomorrow we can paint the tree house. What color do you want to paint it? I think brown would be a good color. All right, but we also have to make some chairs for the balcony and attach a swing to the trunk. What was that noise? I'm not sure, but it sounded like an elephant. An elephant? Let's check it out. Look, Milo, you are right. There is an elephant. She's really big and very pretty. Hello, friends. You don't need to whisper because I can hear from very far away. We didn't say anything. A while ago, you were talking about painting the treehouse. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, you really did hear us. Uh-huh. Makes sense with such big ears. Uh, we heard a noise and came to see what was going on. I'm all right. It's just that I'm pregnant and it won't be too long until I give birth. You're really going to have a little baby elephant right now? I think so. But I'm not very sure because it's my first time. I can't believe this. We're going to see how a little baby elephant is born. How exciting! We could stay here and watch and we'll help you with whatever you need. That wouldn't be a problem for me. That way I won't be alone. Would you mind if I go and tell my friends? When they hear that there's a pregnant elephant who's about to give birth, they're going to be dying to see it. Go right ahead. I'm not going anywhere. I'll stay here and keep you company. Hooray, hooray! <laughs> Mumu! Rita! Alfred! Talalo! You have to come and see something incredible. Not now, Olga. We're sleeping. Mumu, I promise you're going to love this. What could be so important? I don't want to tell you the whole story. Just come down and follow me. I promise you'll love it. Olga, everyone's sleeping and I'm really tired. So tell me what it is or... I'm going back to bed. As you wish. There's an elephant who's about to give birth. Oh, great. I'm going back to bed. An elephant about to give birth? A baby is about to be born! Everybody up! There's a baby about to be born! What's the matter, Moo Moo? Baby elephant is about to be born. Hurry, let's go! It's really incredible! Years ago, I saw how a rhinoceros was born in the jungle! A birth is something incredible and marvelous, and it's... it's... where's Olga? We're leaving now, Rita. Be patient. Patient? Run, Olga! Run! Tell me where she is. I want to see that elephant right now. Everybody quiet! I just can't believe it. The baby elephant sounds just like Milo. Hi, Moo Moo. And he even knows my name. It's incredible. That was Milo. The baby hasn't been born yet. Oh, of course. Yeah, I knew that. It's incredible that there's a baby inside her belly. Inside there? Yes, Moo Moo. The babies are inside the mother's belly. Huh? I knew that. Everybody knows that. But just one question. How does the baby get inside her belly? Huh? Well, Moo Moo, that's more complicated. The elephant has been carrying it inside her belly for two years. Mm, ouch! I think he's just about ready to come out. Is there anything we can do to help? I'd like you to start thinking of a name for me to give to my son. Uh, I can't think of a single name. Lucas! Then Lucas it is. It's coming out! <laughs> Look, you can see its head! He's almost out. It's really big. Whoa, how beautiful. Welcome to the world, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
for everything. <laughs> yay! 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 We didn't do anything. <laughs> During a delivery, you don't have to do anything. You just have to let nature take its course and keep the mother company. You all did that very well. I hope you come visit us a lot so we could play with Lucas. We'd love to come visit you. We're gonna go now and leave you two alone so you could get to know each other. Yes, that would be great. Goodbye, Mrs. Elephant. Goodbye, Goodbye, Lucas. Goodbye, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> That was really awesome. I've never seen anything so incredible, but there's still one thing I don't understand. What's that, Moo Moo? Mm, hello, baby. <laughs> Do you have any idea what Moo Moo's doing? I have no idea, but she looks pretty confident, so she must know what she's doing. I think she wants us to play in the garden today. You know that Moo Moo always has some very strange ideas. Could be that she's painting the classroom a new color and took out all the chairs so that they wouldn't get stained. I don't think Moo Moo is planning on painting anything. You know how much she likes to play, <laughs> so I think she wants us to play something. But I don't know of any game that's played with chairs. I know how to play one that's really fun. You put a bunch of chairs in a circle and Everyone keeps going around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone sits down, and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair, and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. Wow, that sounds like fun. We can play the chair game today. Let's go talk to Moo to see if she lets us play with her. Hi, Moo Moo. Why have you brought out all these chairs? Mm, I just felt like sitting in the garden. Is that it? You didn't bring them out to play with? Milo, chairs are only used for sitting down. You can't play with them unless you imagine that they're a car or, or a plane or... Well, we know of a really fun game to play with chairs. That's nice. So why are you telling me? Moo Moo. You've got five chairs in the garden, and we want to play the chair game with them. But I don't want to play anything. I just want to sit and enjoy the scenery. Whatever you like. You could at least let us sit here with you. All right, then. I wonder what Moo Moo is doing with so many chairs next to each other. I'm sure she wants to play something. Well, I want to play with them too. We can bring our own chairs to play with. Sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, I don't know where the other chairs are. I think Moo Moo must have taken them all. I saw one just underneath the slide. Well, let's get it and go with them. <laughs> Hello, friends. What are you playing? We're not playing anything. We're just sitting here catching a bit of sun. Well, how boring. I thought you'd be playing some game with the chairs. Rita, you cannot play with chairs. They're only used for sitting. You can't play with them. That's not exactly true, Moo Moo. I know a very fun game that you can play using chairs. Please teach us how the game is played. There are six of us, right? Well, you put five chairs in a circle and everyone goes around them while the music plays. The moment the music stops, everyone has to sit down and whoever is left without a chair gets eliminated. Then you take away another chair and you play again until only one chair is left and two players remain. The winner is the one who's able to sit down. That sounds like fun. Why don't we play that game? All right, then. But it seems like a silly game and very boring. You'll see, Moo Moo. Once you start playing, you'll want to play again. Are we all in position? All right. Now remember, when the music plays, we all go round and round. But when it stops, we all have to sit down. The one who's left out will get eliminated. OK, start the music. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, what bad luck. I was left without a chair. I'm so slow. I kept on dancing with no music. Play it again. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, with all of us helping, it shouldn't take too long. What do you want us to plant this year? I really like tomatoes, but I also like oranges and melons, and I also like watermelons and giant pumpkins and... Mumu, we don't have enough room to plant so many things. You have to choose just one. Tomatoes. Very good. Tomatoes. What else? Alfred? I really like carrots a lot. And lettuce to Lolo. Well, what I really like are sausages. I like sausages too, but we can't plant them. Why can't we plant them? Everybody got to choose something to plant, and I didn't say anything. I want to plant sausages. Rita, sausages are neither fruits nor vegetables. We can't plant them. I know perfectly well that sausages can be planted, and I'm going to demonstrate. While Rita plants sausages, we're going to plant seeds. Mumu, you plant the tomato seeds. Alfred, you put in the carrot seeds. Talalo, you put in the lettuce seeds. And I'll plant the pumpkin seeds. You, Milo, you can plant the potatoes. Now, let's all get to work. Olga, how long does it take to grow tomatoes? Well, it takes about five or six months for them to grow and be ready to eat. I thought that tomatoes were grown in the supermarket, in their little containers, in their little rows, all neat and organized. Yes, Mumu, tomatoes are sold in the supermarket, but first somebody has to plant them like you're doing now. Then they need to be watered for many months, and they need to get a lot of sun, and only then will they grow into delicious, ready-to-eat tomatoes. And how long will Rita's sausages take to grow? When they see how these sausages grow, they're going to realize their big mistake. I'll put one sausage here and another here. This one looks so good that I'm going to eat it. Nom, 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 nom. That was really good. Now I'm a little hungry. I can eat another one since I still have a lot left. I'm going to keep on planting sausages. Another here, and another here. Now I only need to wait about 10 minutes. Yum, 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 yum. Hello, Rita. Have you already planted your sausages? Yes, I've already planted all these. And do you really think they're going to grow? Well, of 
course, Momo. Soon we'll have the same sausages, but a whole lot bigger. That's how large sausages are made. Ah. May I eat one? They just look so good. All right, Moo Moo, but just one. While you're there, could you get one for me as well? It's amazing how much I like sausages. Well, I really like tomatoes, but they take so long to grow that I don't know if I'll be able to wait five months without tasting them. You have to wait five months? Yes. How long do you think it'll take for your super sausages to grow? Well, I don't know, but I was thinking five minutes. But if we have to wait so long, we might as well eat them now, right? Rita, you're hungry, aren't you? <laughs> so catch this one and eat it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This one is so good. Now I'll throw you one. Yum, 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 yum. Throw me another one. Now you to me. Yum, 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 yum. I don't have any sausages left. Now what am I going to tell Olga when she sees I didn't plant anything? Rita, did you really believe that if you planted sausages in the ground, they'd grow? Now that you mention it, it's possible that there's a slim possibility that they wouldn't. But since Olga's always right, I had to contradict her. When Olga comes, just tell her that you made a mistake and that you didn't want to plant sausages. Tell her that you wanted to plant zucchini. Those will definitely grow if you plant them. Hi, Rita. Hi, Mumu. We've already planted everything in the vegetable garden. Tomorrow we need to go and water them. What's wrong, Rita? Why are you looking at me like that? I'm not looking at you in any way. It's my way of looking. Rita? Is something wrong? I thought you were going to plant sausages. The truth is that I did plant them, but we were so hungry that Mumu and I ate them all. It's true, they were really good. But Olga, I already knew that sausages don't grow on the ground. Don't think that I'm not as clever as you are. Come on, Moo Moo, let's go. We need to plant the uh, zucchini. Milo, what are zucconis? In Rita's world, there's something like zucchini, 